Florence, around 1570. Giorgio Vasari, painter and architect to Cosimo I de' Medici, is at work on the construction of the Uffizi, the most important and costly operation of the entire 16th century Italy. The grand and majestic building located near the Palazzo Vecchio could not have a stronger urbanistic role. With the embrace of its porticos, it dialogues with the square, the site of civil life, while its loggias on the river Arno project towards outlying territories. An admirable synthesis and perfect balance between architecture and town planning, as only the fully-fledged Renaissance could produce. Visitors to Florence are thrilled when viewing the Uffizi to find Botticelli's Primavera, Leonardo da Vinci's Annunciation, and other art masterpieces of all times that are housed at the Uffizi. Visitors are also thrilled to be in the same city where great artists including Giotto, Masaccio, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael and Brunelleschi undertook their quest for knowledge and wrote memorable pages in the history of art. The Uffizi Gallery is one of the most important museums in the world, hosting over 1.6 million visitors a year. The gallery includes 52 rooms with plans to double in size in the next five years. 1,250 masterpieces are exhibited in the galleries. Over 3,000 works are in storage. More than 10,000 original drawings in the Department of Prints and Drawings. 600 self-portraits by great artists are housed in the Vasari Corridor. Through the centuries, the Uffizi Gallery has been the theater of the most important events that mark the civil and artistic life of Florence. Recently, however, it was theater of a serious terrorist act. Florence, May 27th, 1993. The heart of the city is struck by a terrorist bombing. The explosion seriously damaged the Uffizi Gallery and several important artworks. Shocking the world. On July 9th of the same year, the non-profit organization Amici degli Uffizi Friends of the Uffizi was born with the immediate purpose of opening a direct line with private citizens and organizations wanting to contribute to repairing the terrible damage. In addition, the gallery management was thus able to count on immediately available funds. The association, however, also took shape with the broader perspective of supporting and promoting all the initiatives and activities that require flexibility and that only a private association can offer. Today, the association's main purpose is to contribute to the safeguarding and growth of the Uffizi Gallery, honoring its cultural heritage, emphasizing restoration, study, research documentation and encouraging bequests and donations.
realization of its institutional purposes, the association exclusively draws its resources from its friends and the voluntary contribution of individual institutions, organizations, firms and other associations, both in Italy and abroad.